What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the top three loadouts to use in Warzone 2 right now, as well as the tuning and attachments that you're going to want to use on those loadouts. If you came here from the short or the TikTok, let me know in the comments so that I can say what's up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It really does help out the channel and like the video for more, as well as let me know in the comments what your favorite or least favorite thing about Warzone 2 is. But anyways, let's jump right into it. So in this video, when I'm talking about loadouts, I mean full loadouts as in primary and secondary gun that you want to use. And these are just my opinions on what I think are the best top meta weapons and what pairs together well. So I'm going to first start off with your sniper and your sniper support option. Currently there's only one sniper that one hit downs. I don't even think it does anymore to be honest with you. I think they nerfed that. So if you're going to be sniping, you want to use the Signal 50. We do have a gameplay. I'll link that above using this gun that you can see it's actually disgusting. It is hit scan at pretty much any range and there's barely any bullet velocity with this build that I'm going to be going over with over with you in a second. And we paired out with attack 56 as your sniper support. So we'll jump into both of those loadouts here. So for the Signal 50, I go with the high velocity rounds, the Bruin L40 Cobra muzzle, the Kilo barrel, the Schlager PEQ box, laser, and the FSS Echo stock. There's another version of this build that you can do where you put on the Cronin blockade instead of the laser, and it gives you a bit more recoil control so you can get quicker shots off down lane. So let's jump into the tuning. For the high velocity rounds, I go all the way to the right and all the way up. Gives you the most damage range and bullet velocity. For the Bruin Cobra barrel, I go aim down sight speed and bullet velocity. For the Bruin Cobra muzzle, I go aim down sight speed all the way and bullet velocity all the way. For the Kilo Barrel, I go with Recoil Steadiness and Aim Down Sight Speed. You don't need that extra damage range. I'm, I promise you, it's still going to be a two-shot kill if you knock plates off, even if they're fully three-plated. It's still going to be a two-shot kill from like 300 meters. So jumping over to the TAC-56, this is one of my favorite builds actually for this gun. It's so fun to use. It snaps to your face really quick in close range, and it's easy to use in like 50 meter situations. So I actually go with the 40 round mag so you have a bit more movement speed. If you're playing quads, you can go with the 60 here instead of the 40, but again, you lose down on some of that snappiness and some of that movement speed. I go with the high velocity rounds, the echoless 80 muzzle, the Schlager PEQ box again for that faster aim down sight speed, and then finally the TV Cardinal stock. This gun, in my opinion, is the best sniper support. You can go with like an SMG or something, but you're not going to get those 50 meter encounters that well with those that with the SMGs. You will with this. Now for the tuning, you don't tune the mag. The bullet velocity rounds, I go bullet velocity and damage range. The muzzle, I go bullet velocity and aim down sight speed. The recoil smoothest, you don't really need in my opinion. It's not that like prominent of recoil. You don't tune the laser. And then for the cardinal stock, I go with uh, aim down sight speed and aim walking speed so you have some strafe speed. Next up is going to be the long range LMG loadout. And you do have two options here, but I actually think the rpk is better so first for the ar the lmg you go with the rpk and the second for the submachine gun go to the lockman sub in my opinion this is a top top tier loadout right now because of the low mobility with the lmg you want the lockman sub over something like the fennec on this or even like attack because you don't want it to run two ARs, but you want the Lockman sub because it has, it offers a bit more range and versatility than something like the Fennec would, which really you can only down like maybe one or two people with. So for the RPK, we don't take a magazine because it's already got a 75 round mag. We go with the FTAC Ripper Underbarrel, the Polar Fire S Muzzle, the VLK 4.0 Optic, the heavy support stock that is one of the key key attachments and then the demo x2 grip now for the tuning on the underbarrel i go the recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability that's going to overall help with your recoil control for the muzzle i go with the recoil smoothness and bullet velocity again really really are going to hone in that recoil control on the VLK optic, I go with far and aim down sight speed. This is where you make up for some of the loss of aim down sight speed, and the far helps out with visual recoil. For the heavy support stock, I go with the aiming idle stability and aim down sight speed. Here's where you make up a bit more of that aim down sight speed loss from the other attachments. And finally, for the Demo X2 grip, I go with recoil steadiness and aim idle stability. Coming over to the MP5, the Lockman Sub, this is a pretty standard build. We go over it in another video if you're interested in checking that out. We go into that a little bit more in depth. So you go with the 50 round drum if you're in quads or trios. Otherwise, in duos or solos, go with the 40 round mag just to make up for a bit more movement speed. You can still knock like two to three people with it. And I personally go with the pineapple grip for the underbarrel. I know that there's some uh, questions on whether there's a better underbarrel here, but this is my favorite. You go with the L38 Falcon Barrel, the Quick Fire Laser, and the Stockless Mod. So you do move pretty dang quick with this thing. It's snappy and it has a good, good magazine size. Now as for the tuning, you can't tune the magazine. So for the Pineapple Grip, Under Barrel, whatever, I go the Hip Walking Speed and Aim Down Sight Speed. You can go Hip Fire Accuracy here if you want to use it more like that, but I personally like to Aim Down Sight. For the Barrel, I tune this for Aim Walking Speed for some Strafe Speed and Aim Down Sight Speed. 
can't tune the laser and you can't tune the stock on this. Now finally, it's gonna be the absolute top tier meta chasers loadout. This is gonna be the TAC 56, which is so easy to use and so insanely good. And the Fennec, which again is like a shotgun up close, but you do run into that issue of having a smaller mag size. So for the TAC 56 build, I go with the 60 round mag, the FTAC Ripper, the Echolus 80, the Tundra Pro Barrel, and the VOK Optic. We have a video using this gun to show you how good it is from the first day of Warzone, actually. And for the tuning for this, you can't tune the magazine for the FTAC Ripper. We've seen this one before. It's the recoil stabilization and aim idle stability. You can go aim walking speed here as well. The Echolus 80, bullet velocity and recoil smoothness, really hones in some of that recoil control, similarly to the Tundra Pro Barrel recoil steadiness and damage range finally for the vok optic you go with far and aim down sight speed pretty much every single time keep in mind with these tunings there are apparently some diminishing returns um but in most cases i don't think they really matter like for example if there's some form of a diminishing return in a close range encounter with recoil steadiness or recoil control it's not going to matter much because by the time that really takes into effect you're either getting the kill already or you're dead so that's why I go all the way up or all the way to the right or left on these sliders for the tuning. But I know that there has been some data mined or tested or something to kind of sway those decisions. And for the last loadout here is the Fennec. The build on this is pretty straightforward. I really like this gun. Again, it's basically a shotgun up close, but you do run into that whole issue of having only a 45 round mag and it shoots really quickly and you can really only down like one to two people with it. I go with a 45 round mag, the armor piercing rounds, and I'll tell you why in a second. The Forge Tech Ninja, this gives you a sound suppression as well as some damage range and bullet velocity. The Quick Fire Laser, and finally the Fennec Rubber Grip. Now, instead of the Fennec Rubber Grip as well, you can go with the Agile Assault Stock if you'd like. I do like that build as well. You cannot tune the magazine. For the Armor Piercing Rounds, you go with Damage Range and Bullet Velocity. This really helps your bullets go exactly where you're aiming when you want them to, and it doesn't it makes the gun feel snappy and responsive. For the barrel, the Forge Tech Ninja, I go with aim walking speed for some extra uh, strafe speed and some aim, and aim down sight speed for extra snappiness. Can't tune your laser. And finally, for the agile stock, I'll go over this and the grip too if you want that. You go with aim down sight speed and aim walking speed as well for more strafe speed and more snappiness. Before going to stock here and you're going with the uh, Fennec rubber grip, you similarly go with sprint to fire speed or aim down sight speed. That's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe for more, like the video, and comment uh, your favorite part about Warzone 2. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.